What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Stadium Goods with Platinum Artist, Little Mosey. Those are like my favorite shoes. I feel like, yeah, those are mine like every day. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. I can't cash out, so we're gonna do it. Let's go. Mosey, I saw in an interview you said that Seattle has its own unique style. For people yeah. who aren't from there, describe that. I would, I would say a lot of people, you know, wear, wear like tracksuits and stuff. Okay. For like, you know, and then I feel like, I mean, it's probably everywhere for Charlie, but you always gotta have White a fresh whites. pair of forms. That's mandatory. You said that people wear tracksuits. You just got a tracksuit deal, didn't you? Yeah. Coming from Seattle, heavy in tracksuits, and then you get your own deal. How excited are you about that? So it's lit. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like I got you know, unlimited supply and shit like all day, every day. Can rock it every day. You saw those, you really like these. Yeah, they didn't have my size, but these is fire. These is fire right here. So one thing that I read also, late night custom. A young kid. Mm -hmm got in touch with you and made you Mosey Customs. They were white on whites with like the Supreme Louis Vuitton red swoosh in the toe yeah. box. Are a lot of young kids, like entrepreneurs, hitting you up for customs? Yeah, I got, and when I get back to LA, I got like two or three pairs waiting for me. I got these bait, bait vans. Okay. I just be, those, I feel like those are the best ones because I'm probably the only one who has them. And then like, they don't, you know, they don't make them, so. Right, you want to be unique, one of ones. They're hitting you up on Instagram all the time or what? Yeah. Yeah, like, like that kid had articles written about him off the street of like, oh, sure. he was he was on set for a little Mosey video and then they made the connection. So you're helping young artists out yeah, too. Facts, that's fine. I didn't um, know that. 18 years old, very young, mm -hmm. Air Force Ones, always in the rotation. Do you remember your first good pair of sneakers? My first good pair? Yeah, I had the, I had the fives. The ones with the flames on it, the red ones. Okay, fire the red infra, fives. Yeah, yeah, fire red fives, yeah. Yeah, those ones were my first ones when I was in like third grade, some shit. I wore them so they didn't fit no more. Like, yeah. Like, they still, it was like a size too small, I still wearing them bitches. Your older brother loaded dreams and nightmares into the iPad. Yeah. That's how kind of you started really getting into music and you always looked up to Meek. Were they also, your older brothers giving you kind of style tips? Yeah, so like, the, I don't know what the, the Concours are down there, but okay. the Concours, they don't do this no more, but like, cause now they got the rifles and shit. Right. We went there at like 4 a.m., had to run. Okay. Run to the store. Yeah. Ran in that bitch, ran to go grab the Concourse. I don't know why they stopped the park, because people dying. It was getting crazy, yeah, yeah, violence and stuff. We was at Zach Levine out there, too. Oh, because he's from Seattle. He's from really? my, my area. Yeah. So Zach Levine was, was like in line with you guys. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So the older brothers, were they sneakerheads? Yeah, my brother was for sure. Like, he, had, he gave me this like little pamphlet thing. Mm -hmm. Had all the Jordans on it. Okay. From, like one to like 24 or whatever. And he had me study that. She said, you got to study this shit. You got to know about this. Love it. Mosey, I said that you're highly requested on the show. I've seen Reddit threads of people trying to figure out what Air Maxes you're yeah. wearing. You're a big Air Max guy. Yeah, I fuck with Air Maxes. I usually always got a pair. Right now, I'll be, once they get, you know, 2-1, I'll be throwing them away and shit. But right now, I don't got nothing. But like these right here. Yeah, undefeated 97s. I had these ones when I first came out to LA. Okay. These were fire. Yeah, LA-centric shoe. I fuck with these ones. And you wore the Comme des Garçons with the chains. I saw a lot. I needed those. I was looking for them. Yeah. Stylist had them. He said they were the last one. So I, I was like, you're going to have to figure that out because I, <laughs> I got to take them. So he like gave them to you to wear, and you're like, yo, I'm keeping these. You're yeah. not getting them back. Yeah, I wore them in a video. I was like, just need them. Got yeah. it. Balenciaga Triple S. You were wearing them as everyday shoes. A lot of people yeah. wear them to like flex. I saw you in a helicopter with them on. Uh, Tim Westwood, I think yeah, you I got, wore them. I you got, were wearing them every day. Those are like my favorite shoes. I feel like, yeah, those are my like, every day. I'll be wearing those like probably four times out of the week. Really? Different ones. I got the white ones. Because whenever I see them in the store, I'll probably get a new pair. One of your closest friends coming up, Kari Cash. Yeah. You said that he put you up on a lot of stuff. Bape especially. Rest in peace, Kari Cash. Yeah, R.I.P. Put me on with Bape for sure. That, it became my favorite brand. Like, I could wear Bape every day if I wanted to. And are you feel like when you're wearing it, you're homaging him a little bit? Yeah, for sure. Every time I put on Bape, I'm like, yeah. He would approve. Yeah, he would approve this. Probably oh. seen him in it too. He would educate you on brands. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I'll see him in some shit and I'll be like, I'm gonna get that soon. Don't nice. worry, I'm gonna get that soon. Not there yet, but I'm gonna get it. 
And then what do you think about like this case, very expensive sneakers, you know, you really are focused on other entrepreneurial stuff like your own designs with mm -hmm. merch. And you know, we talked about the track suit. You really like have conscious decisions. Yeah, for sure. Like, I mean, if I see, you know, if I like it, I might yeah. throw it back. Treat yourself. Yeah, facts, man. Like 14,000. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't see myself in these, so I, you know, I wouldn't right. get them, but one day I'm gonna have some shoes that's worth 14,000, 15,000, hopefully like 20,000. Absolutely. Buying that shit going crazy. We gotta treat ourselves sometimes. Number six currently on Spotify charts. What's it like to drop songs and then see the rabidness of the fans? Shit crazy. Yeah. Feels good every mm -hmm. time seeing my shit chart and shit. Seeing yeah. my shit, you know, with the top artists. That shit feel good. And then you're getting ready for tour soon? Yeah, the US tour. We just did Europe. I sure it was a movie. Mm -hmm. It was fire. You know, I'm doing US, like 35 or something shows. That shit gonna be crazy. Yeah. Sold out days, first show, sold out probably, you know, a lot more. Ready for it. First stop, San Francisco. Nice. Movie. Well, really? well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the shelf, see what you're gonna take home. Yeah, we finna pick up some fire shit. Hopefully blow some shit, blow some rags. These is hard. Yeah, see-through. I like the see-through. Let's do it. I need the Travis's, nine and a half. Perfect, we have that. Yeah, and the Babes's. It's the last one. Say that. Mm. Yeah, take it. I like these. You got my size? What size, nine and a half, right? Yeah. Yeah. Man, I need these ones too. Yeah, these we have too. All right, babe. So your total after tax is gonna be $3,629.89. Bro, you scan that correctly? Mm hmm You say you didn't scan like the same pair twice, you could do that again one time? Nah. All right, all right. I'm gonna pay some cash too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Appreciate it. So, Little Mosey came through, got some great pickups. Thanks so much for taking the time. Appreciate you. Make sure you check out Blueberry Fago, streaming everywhere right now. Mm -hmm.